All right, this video is about the Pocky X, some troubleshooting tips, and to answer a question that one of our subscriber had. Her name was Stephanie Rose Corley. So Stephanie, this video is for you. Uh, I'm going to follow, I'm going to start this video from head to toe and also end it with Stephanie's, um, Stephanie's um, request here, okay? So um, one tip that I want to add into this video that I haven't mentioned is I'm getting some uh, subscribers asking this when I'm drawing on the mouthpiece, juice gets in my mouth. It pops. Okay, so I think based on understanding science a little bit, um, the reason why it pops and it spits juice is because the coil inside that heats up from zero to 900 degrees so quick, that massive quick temperature change, there's a reaction to that, okay? And that's when the juice actually reacts to the temperature change so quickly, okay? So the juice flies out because the, the juice goes from zero cold temperature, room temperature, to like 900 to 1200 degrees in a matter of like less than a second probably, okay? So that's the reason why the juice spits at you or shoots up or pops, okay? To answer some of your questions before I move on into the video. Now, what I suggest, if you're gonna use this device or any vape device, okay? This actually, this applies to any vape. Whenever you pull your vape out of your pocket after several hours or even one hour or even like 30 minutes of not using it, obviously the temperature drops to the normal room temperature. So what happens is when you go and hit that button, what happens? The react from zero to a thousand degrees, there's gonna be that temperature change and that's what causes the juice to spit out. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Let me know what can I get for you today. Sure. Newport 100s, yes. That's everything you need? Yes. You got it. And then a lighter too. Boom, bam. All right, so 1369. Go ahead and plug in your chip underneath. It's gonna prompt you in about two seconds. You want me to open up the wrapper for you and throw it away? Um, yes, please. Beautiful. I'll leave that up to you there, okay? Receipt with this? So, Receipt? Uh, yeah, no, I'm okay. Okay. You're all set. Have a good day. Sure. So this, um, sorry about that. Thank you guys so much for your patience here. So what happens is when the juice, um, it spits at you. So what I would do is once you pull it out of your pocket, just hit the button, not above your mouth. This time, just hold it away. Let it warm up before you go to using it, okay? So that's gonna prevent from juice spitting at you. Um, so I hope that that value there can, you know, help some of you guys out before you, you put your mouth to it, before it spits at you, okay? Now, moving into um, Stephanie Rose Corley, her request, um, for me to make this video here, let me see here. Okay, so it says, she says here, thanks for the video, especially the tip about screwing in the coil first. Will you show a video refilling liquids with liquids still in the chamber? I refill when it's half down from the max line. Okay, which is fine. And then she says, I don't let my liquid go, get all used up before I refill. I'm concerned the sleeve will come loose if I unscrewed the top cap with the liquid in the sleeve. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna dive into this video here. I'm gonna break this component. I'm gonna take off, take apart the components, uh, the anatomy of this device, so you can see from head to toe how it comes apart, and then I'm gonna go into each piece one by one, okay? So, um, actually I can, I can answer your question right now, Stephanie. So Stephanie, I, you're saying that you, you don't want to remove the top here like this because you're afraid that this part's going to come off. Okay, so that's a great question here. 
And every time I show a tutorial in our store here, when I'm giving a tutorial about this product is, I always tell the customer, look at this component, look at this vape device here as three components. You got one, which is the silver cap, you got the tank in here, and the battery here. Now, the best way to take apart this, um, uh, the cap to refill your juices, is this way right here, okay, Stephanie? You wanna hold, actually, the centerpiece, which is the sleeve, which is the tank, which is the Pocky X sleeve right here. And then, you wanna twist the top. Now, you can see the atomizer unscrewing with it, which is absolutely okay. And you may be asking right now, well, what about the juice getting down to the connections of the bottom center part right there? That's actually absolutely okay as well because um, we've done it a hundred times already with customers, by ourselves, things of that nature. So if there's juice in here, it is actually okay for you to take the, cap the atomizer off. What do I mean by this? Just in case you're completely new to this, what I mean by this is the coil here has a connection with the battery in the center here, okay? So what I mean by that is, let's just say you have juice in this tank right now, like it's filled all the way up, and you take the tank off, you take the coil off of here, and juice will obviously drop down to the bottom half here, which is maybe about a quarter milliliter of juice. Okay, let me see if I can get some good lighting in here. There you go. You can see it kind of dips in a little bit. If I get a paper clip and I show you how deep it goes, it's that deep, okay? So it's about a, maybe like a, a quarter of a milliliter, okay, give and take. Um, so what I would do, now that all the components are off here, okay, I got four pieces here now, okay? You got the coil, the mouthpiece, the sleeve, and then the battery here, okay? How I actually prefer to put this together, because we work with so much Pocky X, is number one, glass sleeve. Pop it on, all right? Two, the coil. Why? Because you want, because generally people like to put the coil with the cap, which is an absolutely normal thing to do, and then they put it down. Now, what happens here when we do that is, there may not be a good connection between the bottom of the coil to the bottom of the battery. Because obviously we know the atomizer is the engine of this entire device here. Okay, so we need to make sure that the engine has good connection with the batteries first. I have the cap in my hand. Tighten it down with your finger. Okay, that, that snug turn is generally good enough. Okay, then I fill up my juice all the way up then I cap it off, okay? Now, notice I'm holding the center and I'm tightening it because what is actually holding this whole component together here, sorry, so bright, okay? It's the coil. The coil is holding the sleeve in place. Let me explain to you what I mean by that, okay? Let's actually, I'm not gonna show you what I'm doing here so I don't confuse you. I'm gonna show you how the sleeve, Stephanie, how the sleeve doesn't come apart, okay? So I'm gonna take this part off. So this is the bare bone structure without the sleeve, you see that? The coil, the cap, and the battery. Now, the sleeve is right here in my hand. So, to answer your question, Stephanie, you don't have to really worry about the sleeve popping out of place if you're just unscrewing the cap off, whether the atomizer comes out or not, okay? Now, the best practice to do this, if you're feeling a little worried or anxious or so, or concerned, just hold the center of the cap, if it was there, and then twisting the entire unit off, okay? So let's do it a real life situation. Sorry I'm running around in circles a little bit, but other problems are coming to my head as I'm talking about this. So, Stephanie, to answer your question again, hold the sleeve, twist the cap, 
Okay, hold the sleeve, not the battery, but the sleeve. Okay, and you can see there's a line right there. So you want to hold just the sleeve. Pull that off. Okay. If the coil comes apart, like I said, it's okay. Now, if the coil does come apart, that's the reason why there's a max line, which is a little black line in the middle. You're going to fill your juice halfway only. Why? Because the rest of the volume, the half of that volume, is taken up by this coil here because it's physical matter, okay? So once you put the coil in, if you fill it halfway and you put the coil in, it's actually gonna push it all the way up. It's like putting ice into a cup and putting water. If you throw the ice out, it's like halfway there because the rest of it is taken up by the ice, right? So in other words, the coil is the ice right now, all right? So I hope this video kind of helps answer Stephanie's question um, to answer a lot of people's concern about it popping on your mouth and it burning your mouth is run it before your first time you're using it. If you know that this device is cold, if you know the coil is cold, hold the power button down for about two seconds, then go ahead and put it up against your, your mouth because otherwise it's gonna pop and it's gonna you know, get into your mouth and then it's not gonna be uh, very comfortable, okay? So Stephanie Rose, um, I hope that answers your question. I hope this video delivers a little bit extra value based on the first part of the video that I delivered. Uh, this is kind of the part two of it. If you found this video informative, share, and, uh, share with a friend or family member um, to stay up to date with all the um, uh, up to date with all the reviews and products here. Uh, just click on the notification bell and then subscribe as well too. Okay, we do have a vape support as well too, a vape technical support. You can always call us. There's a phone number below down here as well too. We do free technical support. We try to use all your um, comments and concerns and create more content for you guys as well too. And if you do live in Los Angeles County, we do have vape delivery in Los Angeles County only because we are located in West Hollywood, okay? Uh, and we ship anywhere in Los Angeles County. So until next time, you guys stay safe in this COVID season. Um, I have my mask on here. I hope you guys, all of you have yours when you guys go out. Uh, I'm not gonna get political here, but until next time, you guys stay safe. Bye-bye.